Okay, I'm starting to have a plan for how I will communicate with my little robot. Possibly any robots that I make, I might be able to use this method to interact with the robot using a remote controller built on an Arduino as well. I think it'll be enormously complicated for me because I've got a lot of studying to do to make it happen. But my plan is to basically set up the Arduinos for serial communication. One will be the master, the other will be the slave. And it shouldn't be that hard. Then I can multiplex all of the information and address it with easy Arduino libraries and then demultiplex it and reassign that information to output pins. So I can have input pins and analog values from joysticks on those input pins that will send what pin it's coming in from and what potentiometer value it is and then it will receive as though the potentiometer is hooked directly to it over here. Now this article that I was looking at is for sending it down a wire. And so my plan is instead of sending it down a wire, I'll hook the SCL and the, the, the clock and data lines for the serial communication up to the transmitter and receiver which will send an enormous amount of pulses down the transmission line which would never actuate a motor but might be able to be read as digital information by the receiver which is this motor controller and then I'll just basically hook one and two I'll just hook the Arduino outputs this is a ground and this is a hotline right here and when you touch the ground to the hotline it starts the motor there's only one speed so if I can use a transistor to ground this wire under here through the emitter, collector emitter at the rates required by the multiplexer which might be crazy but I'm only sending two I'm only sending a few addresses I'm only sending X and Y coordinates from one joystick and then possibly X and Y coordinates from another joystick in this transmitter I'll only need two wires though from the transmitter to send any amount of activity from the controller board. So actually I can have an array of joysticks. I can have three with this board plus digital buttons. And then maybe at short range and this is a this controller is 49 megahertz. which isn't isn't that high 
I have another one for this gun that's 2.4 megahertz. Gigahertz. So. But I remember reading that actually the Arduino is slow. So maybe 49 megahertz will be a fast enough rate of signal transmission to send the information. Or maybe not. This controller is a 2.4 gigahertz transmission. And then on the inside, it's the same thing. It's just a little leads touching little wires, probably grounding them. So I suppose I could use this other one if I needed to. But I might as well try with the one I've already taken apart. And then I will hope to encode up a digital signal using the Arduino itself and just have that serial output connected directly to a transmitter. And then the transmitter will just transmit pulses out at the frequency and then the receiver will be putting those pulses to the receiver pin over here and the Arduino over here should know what to do with those pulses and should see them as information. So I'll read about uh, the information speeds. 49 megahertz isn't that fast, but actually the Arduino might be down in a kilohertz. So I'm going to go do reading about that right now.